And then finally, I just wanted to show you what this particular scan box looks like, which is a new version. <laughs> it's nice and exciting. It's small and it's very compact. Yeah, you can just exit. Yep, go leave. Perfect. And you can now see the difference in size. I mean, that's the original scan box and that's the, the new scan box. So even when you look at the package, that's the package for this one. And that's the package for the new one. You can see how much smaller. So we, we you know, have had a few patients uh, practice the saying, or oh, patients don't want to take their scan box with them when they're traveling because it's so big. Whereas now I think there's kind of no excuse. You can just pop it in your wallet. It's that little. Um, and how you set it up is pretty much the same way. So you open the, the app like this. As I mentioned before, you've got the two buttons here. So this one opens the retraction thing. So in, and in this instance, you don't need to worry about the case. So pretty much all the phones can fit in there. So you align it to the side, to the end of the, 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 the actual scan box, and then you latch it in. So you lock it in like this. This button up the top is the one that controls the, um, the height. So you can kind of see. So just making sure that the cameras fit in the hole. Okay, so just that the cameras are in. So it's not like this. So because that's only half. You need to make sure that all the cameras are in the hole. So once that's done, you then grab um, a tube which again you can choose which size but I would say most of the time it will be a large. You grab it, you stick it in, it clicks in and then it's ready to go and you can see it's ready to go so it just clicks in. Easy and then all you do, let's if we go demo, using Scanbox Pro. And then we go start scan. And you can see I'm gonna do a demo scan now. So I'm standing in front of the mirror. Put the volume up as well so I can hear. Double tap to continue. Just like that. see it's easy yeah, it's this one's so much easier and, and the fact that you don't have to hold the whole box you're just holding the phone mm -hmm. and all you're doing is just remember you're working against it so you're moving this to the side and you're moving your head the other way and, and because it's kind of sitting there so securely in the mouth you don't see anything else but what's in the mouth okay so once you're done you can just release this that's done and then you can do a review. So start the review and that's all you see. So you see how before you saw the nose and you saw the lips and the cheeks. Now all you see is teeth. And it's telling me that it's all looking good. Next one, it's all looking good. And next one, obviously it's picked up on the fact that I don't have aligners. And that's it. Once that's done, you send that through. So it's a lot easier, much easier. 
that's it. So that's the scanning process. How do you guys feel about it? Do you feel like it's much easier than retractors because I think um, just like them trying to hold the camera yeah. it's fiddly it and pulling and pushing yeah and what you'll find is that um, if the quality of the scans is not 100%, you'll often, more often, get rejected scans. So the system will kind of go, ah, not seeing much, it's too blurry, it's too, it's just the quality of the scan will never be the same as it is with the scan box. Because scan box really just ensures that you've got that consistent distance and consistent lighting and the, the angle and everything else. Yes. Yeah? And it will just be easier for patients too, because I would imagine that when they're doing their review, they'll often have those messages come up and asking them to redo scans. Mm -hmm. Whereas with this instance, it's hardly ever. Okay. Well, thank you.